What's up guys, Bearful45 here, and welcome back to another episode of Factions. This is episode 17. I know I haven't recorded an episode of Factions in a while, and I'm sorry guys, but the Faction series is back. I'm going to be doing this series on the server squadservers.net, so that's where this series will be. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Factions, be sure to hit that like button down below and drop a comment. I appreciate all of your support, and let's get into this episode. Welcome back, guys. So here we are, Factionless and the Prince rank. So I've got quite a bit to tell you guys. In between episodes... I was Baron last episode, and this episode I'm Prince, so in between episodes I up got upgraded to Duke, and now I'm Prince, which is the rank, two ranks above Baron, and I got kicked out of Axel for inactivity. I kind of stopped playing this server, but I am back, I'm going to be more active here now, so maybe I'll be able to join Axel again, probably not, but maybe. So we might as well do slash F create. Let's just make be be Bear Squad, should we do V2? Alright, let's just keep it at... So my old faction's called Bear Squad, and the only person left is JNA Deegan. Alright, we need a new name. Um, Bear Army works. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, okay, there we go. Bear doesn't know how to type. Okay, slash of create Bear Army. Perfect, okay. I will set up the faction description and all of that stuff later, so now we are part of the Bear Army. Hopefully I can join Axel, so this might be a temporary faction, but we will see. So, alright, now I have access to Kit, Baron, Duke, Prince, Knight, Esquire, and Daily, so I'm gonna go ahead and do Kit Daily for the Obsidian and TNT. So let's check out the rest of this stuff, we don't need it. So why not chuck it in the lava? This lava really, it does come in handy. So now we just need to find the chests that we put this stuff in. Where are they? Okay, so I've put that away. Now, I really wanna go and do some PVPing. I'm gonna see if I can find anyone to PVP and possibly later this episode, I can go and look for a raid. Okay guys, someone just slashed TPA to me. I'm gonna trick them. I'm gonna go to the large desert at warp PvP. I mean my unbreakable got a stack of god apples on me. And I get 56 god apples a day for my kits now, which is helpful. Let's do TPS and let's trick him. Let's kill him when he gets here. So hopefully he didn't move and hopefully he TPs in here. Oh here Oh come on, he's wearing nothing. That was a bit of a waste. So yeah, I, I can't find anyone else to PvP, so. What I might do, I might go ahead and look for a raid. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long to find a raid, but I might as well go and look for one, and if I do find one, I will be back. Okay guys, look, I've been enderpearling around looking for a raid for about 20 minutes or so. It's been a while, so I just did slash wild and I've been looking, and I've come across an obsidian thing. I'm just gonna check if it's claimed, slash if map. No, it's not claimed. This is what I don't understand. Like, people think that not claiming their bases will give it um, a less chance of being raided because you can't see it on F map. But if you're going to do that, why would you make your base sticking out so anyone walking past can find it? Anyway, let's just go see what's inside here since it's not claimed. This should be pretty easy. All right, let's just see. Let's go inside. Okay, looks like there's glowstone. Um, okay, let's go inside. Uh, let's see, like, it's not well protected, so I don't expect much. Uh, oh, 19 god apples, nice, let's take those. Actually, let's put that in our private, um, vault. Let's put that there, I've been saving up quite a lot. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through, alright, we've got a bit of that. Don't wanna take the glowstone, so I'm just gonna go through all of these chests, and hopefully we find something. A uh, barren armor. This might be some barren donators base. It's not very well protected. I definitely don't need barren armor, so I'm gonna leave that. Ah, uh, pickaxes. I don't need barren picks. Let's see. Swords. No, don't need those. They're pretty trash. 
Um, is there anything else? All of these chests look pretty empty. Yeah, the only thing I'm basically taking from this place is obsidian and 19 god apples. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Let's go back to our vault and store the stuff that we did get. Yeah, that sucks. There's not many good raids on this server by the looks of it, because I can never seem to find a good raid. Anyway, let's just find a chest that we can put this in. And of course, we need to go leave a sign there and blow it up. Why not blow it up if you can? So let's put the obsidian there. Uh, there, I've got quite a lot of obsidian. I'd make quite a bit if I sell that. Maybe I should. Anyway, not too sure, but it's not the time for that right now. Stack of TNT will do. And what else do we need? A sign. I can buy a sign, that's not a problem. Where's the sign? Back. Right, you know, let's just buy some wood. Six, I hope that's enough. No, it's not enough. Let's buy two more. And we can make signs. Okay, so let's craft that. Come on, please stop glitching. There we go. And we have three signs. So let's chuck this spare stuff away. Uh, sticks, go, go in the lava sticks. This lava's so handy. Let's do slash back and let's go ahead and throw that stuff and um, blow up the base and leave the signs. Here we are, okay. And it looks like I accidentally placed a block of TNT. Anyway, let's blow this up first. All right, put all of the TNT around here. Um, I probably won't die if I stay inside, but I'm not gonna stay inside just in case because I really don't wanna die. So let's just fill this all up. Let's make this a super big explosion. Fill it all up with TNT to make hardly any spaces left. All of this has to be surrounded by TNT. Let's use all of this 64 TNT and we're done. All right, running time. Okay, let's go, let's go. All right, jump in the water and turn. Block. Um, there we go. Uh, let's see what the remains are. All right, it was obsidian, so it didn't do anything. Let's jump back in. And let's leave signs for the people when they come back to their empty base. You have been wrecked by bear 445. Um, what else should I put? Um, uh, have a nice day. Um, no, 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 that's just weird. I don't want to do that. <coughs> let's put that face. <clears throat> I think that's good. All right, let's leave it like that. All right, guys, I'm going to be fighting Thomas FTW. So we are only allowed a set of prints. Um, a prince sword, a prince bow, and 12 god apples. And we are gonna, our armor is gonna break before we run out of god apples anyway, so that, so that doesn't matter. Um, I'm not allowed to use slash fix all which repairs all my armor since he's a non-donator. He doesn't have access to that. <clears throat> and I can't use slash heal because he doesn't have it either because he's not a donator, so this should be good. Let's get started. I'm gonna count down. Five, four, three two one and hopefully i don't lag let's go pull my heart out of my chest train my mind so i forget sink your teeth into my bones dig me out then fill the hole tear me apart
get Sink your teeth into my bones Dig me out and fill the hole Tear me apart My god that was a good fight that was neck to neck that was super close oh my god if i hadn't been stuck on the cobweb i would have had a chance of winning and yes he said that it was about to die so that was super close thank you guys for watching this episode of factions if you enjoyed be sure to hit that like button down below and drop a comment i appreciate all of your support and i'll see you guys next time bear out